Yeah, the city council is holding a special meeting as we speak to reevaluate the issue and possibly come up with some sort of a compromise. After first passing this $4,000 fee just a few days ago, some are apparently having a change of heart. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in today. The staff at Sailor Sea Brew Pub's been through an awful lot during the pandemic, but nothing quite like they're going through right now. It's sticker shock. Owner Jeff Barnett says the $4,000 fee the city of Edmonds wants to charge him to keep two parking spaces in front of his pub as outdoor seating is a killer, especially since it's only good through April. This is the highest rate in the entire nation. The city of Seattle is a fraction of this cost. The decision comes as restaurants move into their slowest time of year, as well as a time of uncertainty with a new coronavirus variant surging across the country. You're welcome. Waitress and mother of two, Michelle Hammonds, worries whether the restaurant will be able to survive. And it makes you have to consider if you have to go look for work somewhere else or get in a second job. I'll be right there. Okay. The outdoor eateries have become critical for restaurant owners still struggling as the pandemic refuses to fade. Many cities like Snohomish didn't charge restaurants anything for parking spaces. But in Edmonds, complaints about a lack of places to park and restaurants being given priority over retailers prompted council member Will Chen to calculate how much the spots are actually worth by square footage, with the $4,000 due by the end of the year. It's a surprisingly high rate. City Council President Susan Payne voted for the $4,000 fee, but is now proposing that number be cut in half and be payable in installments to give everybody more time to figure out how much longer streeteries will stay in Edmonds. If we want to do this and have streeteries stay here longer, we should develop a program that is um, thought through from start to finish and make sure that we have a lot of fingerprints on it so it can be acceptable to the community. Whatever amount is agreed upon tonight, that money will be used to rent private parking spaces for use by the public here in downtown Evans. In downtown Evans, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.